here we have a word problem for the question of the day, uh, which happens all the time on the GED, and a lot of students panic. So let's try to uh, interpret this thing. Tommy wants to lay paving stones to create a patio area 15 feet by 13 feet. If the stones are each one square foot, how many stones should he purchase? Okay, we've been asked to find how many stones should he purchase, but notice that each one of the stones are square feet. So we've really been asked to find how many square feet this man needs to cover. Right away, as soon as I phrase it like that, I know what kind of a problem this is. You say to me how many square feet, and I know the only thing that's measured in square units is area. This is an area problem. Now, a lot of students are like, well, find the area of what? What kind of a shape is this, Kate? They don't tell me if it's a rectangle, a circle, a triangle, a hexagon. What is this? Well, let's think about a backyard patio. If they just tell me that I have a patio that's 15 feet by 13 feet, you should just go ahead and assume that we have a rectangle. When they don't specify um, with a room shape, a patio shape, um, a pastor shape, all these different things, assume a rectangle. So we have a rectangle here and we're looking to find how many square feet it is, its area. So do remember what area means. It means the number of little one um, unit, one square unit squares that it would take to cover a shape. So let's think about it. If I were to mark this up down this side, I would end up with 13 little boxes going this way. Um, because I have 13 feet, and again, you're going to have to pretend like I got 13 um, little boxes in that way. And I would end up with 15 going this way. Imagine if I were to go over like this, I would basically have 13 rows of 15 boxes each. That is a perfect picture of multiplication. 13 by 15. Anytime you find area, you're going to end up multiplying two dimensions at some point. Now, there might be other things to do with other shapes, but there's always at least that multiplication of two dimensions. And even if you were to forget the entire conversation that we had today and go ahead and look at the GED formula sheet, it would really quickly show you that to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply together the length and width. A equals LW. That's what that means, to find area, multiply length and width. And so I don't care which way you do it, you're going to still end up multiplying 13 by 15. Okay, so when you multiply 13 by 15, and you can feel free to use a calculator, because you would have a calculator on the GED if you did this problem, you get 195. But the question is, 195 what? Well, you just multiplied feet by feet. So this is 195 square feet. Okay, or another way to think of it, this is an area problem, and area is always measured in square units. Okay. Now, the final answer, though, we're not going to write in square feet because take a look. They didn't ask us how many square feet. They asked us how many stones should he purchase. But we know that each stone is one square foot. And so you can just say oh, that's the same as 195 stones. There's no more work to do because that's a ratio of one square foot to one stone. Okay, awesome. Hope that made sense. If it didn't, ask me any questions you have in the comments.